So we talk a lot about the importance of giving blood here on Morning Live. Well, Troy Wagner and his dad, Darcy, are here to tell their personal story to hopefully encourage you to donate to Canadian Blood Services. So, so Troy, you're a Hamilton firefighter and you donate regularly yep. because of your dad. Yes. Uh, yeah, I've been donating since I was about 18 years old. Uh, Dad's had a compromised immune system, so he's always gotten blood byproducts since he was early 20s. Uh, so I started donating just because I knew he, there was a need for him to have blood, so it was a way for me to give back to my father, so I've been doing it ever since then now. Right, and, and Darcy, you had a real need for blood about two and a half years ago. You had a farming accident. Yes, I uh, got uh, thrown off a tractor and then it rolled over my pelvis and uh, and broke my pelvis and had internal injuries and then I ended up with uh, my leg being having to be amputated because of uh, the mower that was on the back kind of chopped my foot up a bit. <laughs> right, so you needed lots of blood then and ironically, uh, Troy, that happened the day you gave your 50th blood donation? Yeah, so my, my 50th donation, I'd gone to my parents' house to have a little celebration uh, and then uh, <laughs> Dad had his accident that afternoon and uh, wow. He, he required 33 units of blood and blood byproducts for the next couple of days. He was uh, in an induced coma and uh, there was an amputation of the legs. So there, was, there was quite a bit of a action for the next three days for him though, mm -hmm. yeah. And did that spur you even, even more to think, okay, I've got to get my friends, I've got to get my coworkers, I've got to get everybody donating blood? Because you never know when a situation like this can happen. Yeah, that, that changed my blood donor path. I, I started donating platelets and plasma. Uh, so I've been doing that for the past couple of years and then um, the day I donated was actually part of the uh, Sirens for Life, which is a competition between different emergency services. Yeah, Tim and I were part of that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. And then uh, so <laughs> through that, like, I knew lots of guys who started donating more because they, they heard about my father's story. And like, guys would come up to me in the fire hall and they'd be like, hey, I, I, I heard about this. I donated for the first time in 10 years. And for me, that was amazing to, how Dad's accent was able to reach out and affect so many other people to encourage them to donate as well. Mm -hmm. Darcy, do you have a message to people who donated and, and helped you survive? <sighs> It's just, I needed 33 uh, units that day and I googled it and body holds 10 to 12. So that gives you an idea how much I, I did it. And that, that means I needed 33 people to volunteer that day for my blood. It's a, and you can't just do it right at the moment, so you got to plan ahead. And you never know when it's going to be you or your friends or your family. Mm -hmm. It's just, if you can do it, you've, you've got to try it. Right. And, and Canadian Blood Services, I know, is, is, is encouraging people to give, uh, sign up and, and make an appointment for three donations, start at three, for all of 2023. And it's really important, right, to, to just take that time out of your day to set up the schedule and to go. Yeah, there are three and 23 push this year. It doesn't have to be just donations. You can sign up to be uh, on their stem cell list. You can sign up to be an organ donor. Uh, one of your three can be a social media post or even just encouraging your friends to go with you. There's a lot of ways you can donate your time or your availability without actually donating blood. Because not everyone can donate blood, but there's a lot of things you can do to, uh, to assist the system. Right. Shout out to the crew at the Ancaster uh, Clinic and to the Burlington one as well. And, and hey, if you go even for the snacks, it's good. <laughs> right? I, lo I love the snacks. <laughs> well, Troy and Darcy, thanks very much for sharing your story and hopefully getting more of our viewers to donate as well. We'll get all the info up at chch.com.